classic signs light shadow image and pinhole camera in today's lecture you are going to study about light so what is light light make things visible and we can see things around us due to presence of light light travels in a straight line if some object interfere it will change its path okay then white light which is sunlight has actually seven colors which is violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red which is defined as vibgyor next there are sources of light which is natural and man made the natural consists of sun and moon and firefly okay and the man made consists of bulb cfls candle fluorescent bulbs and other glowing objects okay which are man made now coming on to the speed of light which is very high approximately 3 lakh kilometers per second in vacuum as well as similarly in air the light in form of energy light is a form of energy okay now there are two types of distinction between light one is the luminous which is emitting the light by its own self example uh, we have natural as well as man made and the luminous which does not emit their light by their own okay do not have their own light so first talking about the luminous so which emit light by own self examples are firefly sun star fire and glowworm now the luminous or the man made has tube light candle lamp lantern match stick etc and also uh, when we put uh, this uh, gas uh, which is the stove burning okay that is also a luminous kind of fire so that uh, this consists of luminous which is emitting their own light now we are talking about which do not emit their own light so moon is the example yes of course moon do not have their own light it will reflect the light which is being uh, thrown by the sun which fall on the uh, surface of the moon the sunlight fall on the surface of the moon thus moon appears to be bright it don't have its own light similarly earth seems to be blue from the space due to the sunlight falling on the earth surface so all these are having the uh, sunlight which is falling on them and they reflect the light accordingly and so non luminous also consists of brick stone trees and buildings etc okay now we are coming on to the next is the three types of objects so there are three types of objects there is opaque translucent and transparent okay so what are the opaque objects which do not allow light to pass through them okay which do not allow light to pass through them examples are tree book human okay rubber animals or any solid object which will ban or which will prevent the allowance of light to pass through them okay your mobile phones also if you put a source of light and put a book or a phone or something which is solid it will not allow the light to pass through them so that object is known as opaque object now the next one is translucent translucent allows the light to partially pass not wholly pass but partially pass if you have a butter paper or some uh, oil or ghee is being uh, greased on the paper okay or there is a flint glass ground glass so you can see there is partial light is being uh, transmitted through this objects okay honey and oil so these are some liquids also which will allow some light to pass through them okay but uh, they are all, uh, also known as translucent objects now the next one is the transparent objects so the transparent objects allow completely the light to pass through them example there is water air glass and other transparent sheets okay glaze paper and all they allow light to pass through them wholly okay the linear propagation of light so what is this it is a traveling of light or movement of light in a straight line supposingly there is a tube here and the candle is lighted you can view the candle from the pipe of the tube which is straight line but if the pipe is bent 
you cannot see the visible light which is you cannot see the candle now okay this is because light do not travel uh, in a another direction other than a straight line light always travel in a straight line and if there is an obstruction of the path then the shadow is formed now shadow is formed by the blocking of the light or prevention of the light to pass through an opaque object and th thus a shadow is formed behind this object and which is uh, seen on a screen okay what is shadow it is a dark area behind the object now this dark area is colorless it does not shadow do not have some color okay so the you understand what is the phenomena of being rectilinear propagation of light and shadow okay now next is your ray and beam ray is a narrow path of light that is in single line and beam is a bunch of ray that is parallel ray convergent uh, if there is convergent then the rays of different direction meet at a single point if there is a divergent then the rays are uh, from a single point will diverge into different directions okay so this these are the three patterns of beam the parallel beam the convergent and the divergent okay next is our shadow so we will discuss uh, something more about the shadow what is shadow a shadow is depend on the size the position on the source of light distant from the object okay so the size or position of the light distant from the object so if the uh, if the size will increase then the light is near to the object okay if it is very far away from the object source of light then a small shadow will form okay so this according to this if the position of light is uh, depending on the with respect to the object the size will vary okay now where you can see the shadow the shadow is seen on the screen surf surface okay what is the shape of shadow shadow may or may not be as same as object shape okay it can be similar to object shape or it cannot be similar to object shape if uh, a shadow is uh, like if an object is turned 360 degree 90 degree 120 degree so the object movement depends on the shape of the shadow okay i hope you understand okay you can do one thing if a teddy bear is uh, straight away then you may throw the light and see the shadow on the screen there is some different pattern if the teddy bear is at 90 degree angle then there is some different type of shadow which is shape of shadow, uh, shadow which is seen okay shadow also help in x ray and sundial x rays are what x ray is a photographic image that is used for diagnosis in this the shadow of the original uh, like uh, original body parts like hand or chest so we have an x ray photographic x ray of film of that image of that uh, thing okay which is uh, by the help of shadow uh, so x ray is used in diagnosis next is the sundial now sundial is show us the time of the uh, time of the sun at which position it is so if it is at 10 am 10 uh, am then uh, it is at 10 am or 12 pm or 4 pm so the uh, size of shadow vary so if at 12 pm then there is very low shadow if uh, sun is at uh, 10 am then also there is east shadow or west shadow accordingly at 4 pm there is shadow on the back which is on the east side shadow okay so this is all the it, sun dial is a instrument which will denote at what time at what position of sun what will be the size of shadow what will be the size of shadow so this is all about shadow now we will uh, study about ellipses so if we block the light with certain opaque object like taking a ball so there must be shadow the region of the shadow is divided into two things the dark region which is known as umbra and the uh, less dark region that that is known as penumbra okay that is partially dark now umbra is the inner part which is completely dark and 
penumbra is a partial darkness that is uh, uh, reaching that other regions okay so if we are lighting some bulb and we are putting an opaque object like a ball so there must be two shadow formation now we can also see that in sun we have a flying bird kite and plane so in sun what is happening when the sunlight is falling on flying object like kite bird or plane there is no umbra form why because the uh, source of light is far away from the object because sun is far away and on the earth surface is also screen is also very far so it is not formed but the faint penumbra is formed when the kite or bird is flying somewhere near about the surface of the earth or aeroplane so it a faint penumbra which is a partial darkness region is formed now next moving on to our part is the ellipse so what is ellipse okay we write eclipse but we pronounce it as ellipse so what is that the shadow of celestial body in space now what is celestial body like the planets their satellites like our moon earth etc etc so these are the celestial body now the sun is the main source of light in the galaxy which we are living okay and on the planet which is earth on which we are living and one satellite which we have is the moon okay so uh, the earth is revolving around the sun and the moon is revolving around the earth so at certain revolutionary period of time there must be a obstruction of moon and earth while revolving around the sun and this causes the eclipse okay so this causes the eclipse okay so studying for the first is our solar eclipse what is a solar eclipse when the moon is blocking the earth by revolving so certain part of the earth is being shadowed by the moon and uh, moon obstruct the sunlight coming from the sun to fall on earth it may be a partial block or a total block depending on that a solar ellipse is formed so for uh, note that solar ellipse will not be seen with the naked eyes okay we should use certain uh, like x ray film or that so that the harmful uh, uv light is not being fallen directly on our eyes okay next one is our lunar eclipse so lunar as the name suggests it is a moon eclipse okay and the lunar eclipse there is uh, a complete darkness on the moon because earth come in between the sun and the moon and thus it causes an obstruction of light coming from the sun to fall on the moon so the light will not fall on the moon and the moon will remain a uh, darker so this is known as lunar eclipse but there is one point that lunar eclipse can be seen with the naked eyes also okay so what is image image is formed by the reflection of light from a smooth and shiny surface okay now image is a exact copy of the object it can be smaller large real inverted erect but it seems to be absolutely similar to the object okay and it is also colorful now what is shadow we have already studied but shadow is formed by blocking of light by the opaque object that may or may not be similar to object and the dark image is formed in the image part what is image so it is a reflection of light uh, so light is reflected when it is going on a mirror the incident ray is reflected back from the smooth and shiny surface or the uh, reflecting surface back towards the uh, back to the uh, outside and that forms the image okay so uh, this is by the plane mirror if we are talking about it has an smooth and shiny surface on the front side which is glass and the glass is polished at the back by the red lead oxide red lead oxide okay so this is all about the plane mirror now coming on to their different types of mirror like the curved mirror also spherical mirror and the convex and concave mirror okay so what is curved mirror if it is spherical and curved then it is a curved surface 
if it is a plane surface then it is a plane mirror now what is the reflection of light okay when the incident ray fall on the mirror and the reflected ray is bounced back from the smooth and shiny surface this is known as reflection okay now coming on to the image so image is formed by the smooth and shiny surface it can be a metal a glass a mirror a water or utensils like your spoon so it is all by the you can also see a mirror image on your spoon on the water surface on the shiny metal surface and of course your mirror okay so image can be seen uh, there so image is a mirror image and it is it can be real large real larger smaller or inverted or erect erect means uh, the straight one okay that is similar to the object and the mirrors can be concave and convex concave means like a cave means the uh the inside surface of the spoon is a concave mirror and the outside or the back of the spoon is convex mirror so of course you have understood this that concave and the convex mirror what it is okay now coming on to the next is reflection so reflection we have already discussed that when a light falls on a smooth and shiny surface and it bounces back or so reflected back this is known as the phenomenon of reflection and example is like on the mirror surface or on the water surface or metal surface so these are all the image formation now next is our pinhole camera so in this lecture we are going to study about pinhole camera how does it work how to make it what images formed and what are the size of images are there starting from what is a pinhole camera so it is a simple camera simplest which you can also form in your home and it is based on the rectilinear propagation of light okay so light is passed through a pinhole and from the bulb or from any light source this light is passing through the pinhole and there will be a screen as you can see here okay there will be a screen on that image is formed so it is a simplest camera and the image or the light is uh, going through a small pinhole and from there only the image is formed okay talking about how it works so it works on the basis of a uh, principle which is rectilinear propagation of light that is light travels in a straight line okay but here in this case the uh, the uh, the top of the object is at the bottom and the uh, bottom of the object is seen at the top which is the inverted kind of image okay this is a small round pinhole you can observe here okay this is a pinhole you can pluck it uh, you can uh, make this i will tell you how to make okay but before this how it works so from distance what happen uh, there is a like candle is here okay we have a candle and then uh, we have placed in front of that our pinhole camera okay and at the other side we are seeing it okay so how uh, we can see observe this on an uh, screen which is here okay on the screen we can see the object which is behind the pinhole camera we can see an inverted image okay and we can also see some distant objects like the tree the car or several other objects you can see when the bright light of the sun will focus on that and if it is placed in front of camera then you can see the inverted image of all these okay and we can also see the sun like a small spot on the screen okay it is so small which is being observed okay so this is uh, about the working uh, of the pinhole camera how does it work now how to make it okay so everyone is excited yes so take two tubes one tube of 30 cm another tube of same size but there should be a condition that the one tube should be slightly wider than the next tube so that the small tube can fit inside the larger one okay so this is the based on the two tube phenomena okay and on the front end you have to place a, a black chart paper and pluck it with the needle so that you can make a 
pin hole here and at the other end of the another tube you have to fix the trace paper okay so that you can it is like works like a screen so you can have an image here and inside this you have to just fix the one tube is wider and the second is smaller so the जो बड़ी वाली ट्यूब है उसके अंदर छोटी वाली ट्यूब आपको इंसर्ट कर देना और ये ऐसी हो कि ये मूवेबल हो आपस में ओके सो दिस शुड बी मूवेबल ओके नाउ यू कैन सी द मैजिक ऑफ वॉट ऑफ हाउ दिस पिन होल कैमरा वर्क सो टेक दिस पिन होल कैमरा इन फ्रंट ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट एंड यू कैन सी द इन्वर्टेड इमेज ओके नाउ यू आर थिंकिंग हाउ दिस इमेज इज फॉर्म फ्रॉम अ स्मॉल दिस पिन होल ओके सो दिस द टॉप of the uh, light is being thrown at the bottom and which is seen at the bottom is seen at the top on the screen okay so this is the cross of cross uh, crossing of the two light and thus on the screen the inverted image is formed okay now this inverted image can be smaller or larger that depends on the distance between the screen of object from pin hole from pin hole to screen or from object to pin hole so we are going to so have you understood this phenomena of image formed on screen by the pin hole camera okay now we are moving on to our next is so next is our image which is formed real and inverted so image is formed real which is uh, okay not virtual and also it is inverted okay and the size is the distance of the screen object from the pin hole so distance of screen object from pin hole is the size of the image but you can also increase or decrease the size you can make uh, move the uh, tubes okay you can move the object also from far away from pin hole or uh, near the pin hole you can move this screen towards or away from the one okay pin hole so based on that if the image is seen you have to see a bigger image what you have to do is this pin hole should be uh, increase the distance between the screen so this is pin hole and this is screen so you have to so you have to shift the screen of the distance which is from the pin hole to the screen if you have to move just a little uh, okay backward then the distance is increased and you can see a big size image okay big size image if you have want to have small size image so for small size the object distance should be near and uh, from the pin hole the object distance should be near so you can see the small size of image so this is how the pin hole camera work and of course it is the simplest camera so just make it for today and thank you for attending my class if you like my video please subscribe to amplify studying thank you